G'day everyone, I interrupt our Cambodia vids to take you with me on my first flight since the pandemic. I'm heading to Brisbane and I'll take you through the airport, what it's like on a plane and show you the very fancy W Hotel where I stayed. Unbeknownst to me at the time, as I get in the car at about 5.30 in the morning, going on this trip would mean I'd have to get a COVID test on return and isolate which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Happy weekend. Usually when I get a flight this early in the morning, traffic's banked up to right here and it would take about 20 minutes to get from the bottom of the ramp to all the way to the top of the ramp where the cab or Uber would drop you off. But today, luxury, look at this, all the way to the top, no traffic, just superb. The only thing that could have made this trip better if it was in a gold Camry. The gold Camry getting a golden park, it's just, it's just perfect. Inside the airport, pretty quiet. There's your check-in. Just head downstairs and again, this is pretty quiet. That cafe that's in front of us is usually buzzing, but you can see it's, again, pretty dead. But it is like 6-ish at the moment. Just checking if the flight's on time, which it is, which is good. And uh, let's go through security again. No queue, pretty good. The gates are usually pretty busy at this time, uh, full of people in suits looking pretty ordinary, including myself. Melbourne Airport has these social distancing uh, little tags on all the seats so you don't sit next to anyone to avoid the spread of COVID. Even though at the time we were free from COVID in Victoria for 28 days, which is pretty good. As we get to boarding, people just stand around because they can't sit, they loiter. Now let's get ready to board. I love the smell of Avgas in the morning. Just it hits you when you hit the tarmac. Ah, oh, planes. Do a quick look around to see if we can see Brian in his natural habitat. But uh, Brian was not working. Because there's not many flights running these days, every flight seems to be pretty full and this plane did fill up pretty quickly. Already knackered, absolutely knackered. Up in the air was a pretty smooth flight and you could remove your mask for eating and drinking so that was quite nice. And uh, I watched a bit of Wayne's World on the way up, party time, excellent. On the ground, and that lovely sound of everyone shuffling to get out. Brisbane Airport was a completely different story to Melbourne Airport. Casual as you like, no social distancing, people getting on with it. Ah, now we are at the W Hotel. This thing lights up absolutely beautifully. Brian, you would absolutely trip at this joint it is fantastic there's so many different lights as you walk through to the hotel you're greeted with a big w but not a big w if you know what i mean very nice bar to your left but uh let's show you the lifts and help you if you come into one of these lifts if you're drunk 
because they are mirrored and lit up. Just struggle to find my card. Come on. There you go. And by this stage, I'm pretty naked, guys, so I'll warn you now before I start talking live. Let's head to the room and check in with Mark on the ground. Ooh, so here we are, guys, in the hotel room of the W Hotel. It's very, very nice. Let's have a look at some of its quirks and features. So here's our walk-in area, which looks very, very nice. First, you've got a mirror here. There's lots of mirrors here, actually. You've got mirrors here. You've got a place to put your bits and pieces, and you've got another place to put your bits and pieces here, and I believe one of these is a safe. Have a look at that. Doesn't that look like it is robust? And look, there's even a little spot to put your smaller bits and pieces. So doesn't that just float your boat? Anything in it? No, that's a drawer, spare drawer, guys. Just in case. Soft clothes too. No, we're spending a bit of time on a drawer, but very, very nice. Nice hardwood floors or look like hardwood floors. Bathroom. Now it's not lit at the moment, so before we go in there, check out the control panel of this particular room. So we are going to put the bathroom light on just by putting that thing. Did that work? Yes, it did. And you can choose between bright, soft, and mood lights, which we'll go through in a moment. But the bathroom looks spectacular. I do quite like this mirror here, which has a shaving mirror here. So you can shave if that is how you are inclined. You have a bath with a pole in it. Ah, okay, I see. That's some sort of system. Very, very nice glasses and things in this room, guys. Really, really cool, funky blue things. I like that. Oh, you've got a volume up. Volume. You can turn the volume up. You can turn it up in the bathroom. <laughs> How good's that? In the bathroom, they also had these things, which I found the next day. Some skin cleaners, razor kits, and a toothbrush. Fully kitted out, excellent. Very nice tapware, I love the contrast, it's very, very cool. You do get very, very nice amenities here. This is a thing that is propping up this piece here. That is the technical term. Is that a speaker? What, what is it? Huh. It's just a thing, I suppose. Let's put that thing back, shall we? There we are. So that's your soaps and things. Now, glass does look out into the bed area, but it is frosted. So unlike those hotels in Asia where you can see your partner or significant other showering or shitting, you won't get that here. But something peculiar, the shower has a door, which is nice. And a shower is quite nice. You've got a noodle shower rain head or this one here with some soaps there and some things there. Look at this, you slide this across. And there's your dunny. So you're either like closing one or the other. That looks like an illuminated photo above the dunny of pineapples. It isn't illuminated, it is an illusion, ladies and gentlemen, but it is a nice area to do your business. I also only noticed this the next day, which was the spare dunny paper was called backup plan. Very cool. And yes, the shower is quite large and luxurious as well. I do wish to partake in a shower and some business at some point. Now, this is the main area. How nice is it? Very, very cool. I love, again, another mirror. Gives the illusion of space. Um, again, look at these really nice cups and stuff. You get a free bottle of water, which I want to find a fridge that will go in it. Tea and coffee, look pretty cool glasses. I think that's the coffee. Some more drawers with some things in here. A really comfy seat. Well, it looks comfy anyway. I'm gonna test it out to make sure it is comfy. Hey, USB. Didn't notice that. So you can, and a HDMI. There's excellent connectivity in this room. So you can plug straight into this thing and there's a Bluetooth button there too. So this whole room is wired, which is really, really nice. Big TV with a Bowers and Wilkins sound bar. So that, uh, not mucking about with this thing. That is very, very cool. You have an area here, which is your like drink and cocktail area. You get really nice wine glasses, a bottle of wine, some alcohol if they're that way inclined. Check out these martini glasses and cocktail shaker, which I knocked over before. Um, and you get like a, a little recipe book of 
cocktails to make too. So this is very, very cool. And the fridge is here. Have a look at this. It's this blue thing. Mmm, drinks. Look at these drinks. Probably very overpriced drinks, as you would expect in Australia. But you get some alcohol. You get like a Negroni. Um... And you also get some other stuff, coffee house and whatever that is in the old fashioned, in the old fashioned there. Yeah, yeah. So they're encouraging you to mix your own drinks, which I think is very, very cool. And once you've mixed your drinks, you can sit at the lounge area or the flora lounge area, which is a shape of a boomerang this way and a shape of a boomerang that way. So that is very, very cool. Very Australian to have a boomerang table in your hotel. Very nice. Another mirror over here, and this is a corner room, which means you get a lovely view of the reflection of the room in the window. I'll film this in the morning and show you what it looks like in the morning, and I'll overdub all this now, so you'll be seeing, hopefully, daytime. But it does look very nice. Very, very nice. Yes! Yes! Oh, that is luxurious. <laughs> Let's do that again. Okay, I've made the room pitch black for this dramatic effect. Now, just hold on, hold on. We are going to do that one first. And we open the blackout curtains. Oh, yes. And then we're gonna open these other ones. Marvellous! Now we can see the views! And we can see, oh that's very high up. We can see the freeway, or that road there, which if uh, you know anyone from Brisbane will tell you all about that road during the Brisbane floods. And there's the Brisbane River, which if you know anyone from Brisbane will tell you all about that from when there were Brisbane floods. There was their South Bank down there, which is a nice area. The bridge is lit up beautifully, and there's a wheel. Can you see that wheel? It's really good, and that's a really bad joke. So here's our light control panel. Now I wanna show you the mood lighting available in this room. So we've got these cool lights all over the place. We've got that one there and a couple of them here, and above, yeah, around there as well. Let's chuck them on soft and just dims everything. How cool is that? And I've got these reading lights on. Let's turn the reading and the pendant lights off. Now we've got the mood light. Oh, no, that's the soft lighting. But what if we put the mood lighting on? Let's press the mood button. What happens? Oh, it just drops even lower. This is mood lighting. I don't know what mood you're in, but let's put the soft lighting on. Okay, soft lighting just brings a couple of those bits on. And then full light. Ah, we get extra lighting. And you've got a switch over there and a switch over there. What's that switch over there for? It's the same sort of thing. That is very, very cool. I do like that. I do approve and I will be playing with the lights in this room once this video is done. Despite all my raids, I feel like a rat in the cage. Or is it a cloak in a thingamajig this i think is where you hang your clothes and these blacked out pieces i think denote where you yes open it up it's a pretty cool wardrobe so you can have your clothes in an open air wardrobe which again rather than have it shoved in a corner over there it just it's something look, looks it's aesthetically pleasing a little bit flimsy i'll give it that but um very nice use of space well done guys let's open it up Bit of marble, bit of marble, beautiful. What do you got in here? Some, uh... Oh, look, you can shine your shoes! Mm, yes! I don't know if that'll work on my thongs. Oh, we have slippers. Ooh, it's all luxury here. Continuing the theme of these pole things, they're... They're kind of just... Look, there's poles on the outside of the bathroom. That must have taken a long time to put together. Doesn't it look nice? Do you like the poles? What's your opinion on the poles? Let's go to the poles and see what's happening. I just wanna like, really wanna break that. 
Anyway, let's stop mucking about. Oh, here's another cool feature. You can view the menu for room service by just scanning your QR code there. So that is also quite cool. Pretty cool. Lots of very, very cool things in here. Hey, here's something else I've found. Check out the placement of the power points. You've got a power point here, which you can plug a charge. You've got a USB in there as well. And on the other side, you've got this whole schmozzle here. I cannot emphasize how convenient that is as a business traveler to have power points so close to the bed so you can charge your many bits and widgets. Rate that very highly. Well done, W Hotel. If I told you the price, probably not. It's 185 bucks a night, which I think is pretty good for a place like this. I've stayed in places which are less luxurious, which cost about the same around Brisbane uh, for work. So this to me is much better than what I usually stay in. Sorry to say, uh, Queen Street people, but I think these guys take the cake. What'd you think of that little airport run at the start? I thought it would be nice to capture what it's like traveling in the era of COVID in Australia. Um, you have to wear a mask, which sucks. Um, but at least we can travel domestically on a plane, which I suppose is cool. If you're going to travel and you have to wear a mask, don't wear a surgical mask. Wearing a mask like this and breathing your own oxygen for two hours or your own carbon oxide for two plus hours makes you really drowsy. Not great. But it'll keep you from being sick, I suppose, as well. We've got 700 subs now too, guys, which is awesome. So thanks very much if you've subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We're getting pretty close to a thousand subs, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and thank you all for joining us along this journey. I'm gonna wrap this up. I am knackered. I've stumbled through this vlog and I don't really know how to end it. So I'm just gonna say see you in the next one, guys. Chicka chow. Hope you've enjoyed this another Australia vlog. Oh, that is super comfortable.